So you guys get a special treat if you like the car videos, even though this thing sways back and forth. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> The person I am, I am forced into humbleness, um, whether I like it or not. So, like, me always have to keep my ego on in check, emotions in check, um, and um, being humbled, like, constantly and having it rubbed on my face like every single day one thing I've always lacked in my life is confidence and it's kind of weird it's kind of weird for me to say that when like I'm, a, I'm somebody with a high body count um, it's disgustingly high but it's, it's kind of weird for me to say that considering I've had a lot of success with the opposite sex, um, even though a lot most of that was <clears throat> um, degenerate because I did it, they weren't my, my, my lady. So, it's kind of, like I said, it's kind of weird because sometimes I can be confident and then other times I can't. For me, I don't know if anyone can relate with this, is um, whenever I get full of myself or I get really confident about something, I'm checked big time. Either I come in contact with somebody who is smarter than me or they have more knowledge or they're just more confident in their delivery. So then it kind of throws me off my game. Because, like, this is me in a conversation. And <clears throat> as, as a person who's an introvert and how I study people so much, when people are talking to me, this is how it usually goes. Blah, 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 blah. And I hear something, like, a detail of what they're talking about. So I kind of get the gist of the conversation. Blah, 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 blah. And when, and when, when it's... They're saying blah, 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 and I'm not paying attention is because I'm, I'm like just laser focused on them, studying them, analyzing them, their physical movements, um, the way that they do things, the confidence, the energy. I'm studying all this fucking shit and trying to evaluate it in real time. <clears throat> so like me having a conversation with somebody... I usually don't look at them when I talk, um, and that's definitely people don't like that. They, and they're like you, oh, that's like a confident. Like I don't need to sit there and just fucking stare. I, I have to watch the road, but like just, just stare at. Yeah, yeah. This like I'm a fucking psycho. Um, <clears throat> cause like humans conversation just happens naturally and I've and I've I've rehearsed conversations before like oh I'm gonna say this and then you know something I might have rehearsed before when I drop it it makes sense in the conversation but not the timing of the conversation either <clears throat> the conversation has already moved past that point into something something else or it's like like it's completely off topic um and then it's just it doesn't it doesn't heed that that uh, power that I imagined of whatever statement I was gonna make but it sounded great in my head and it would have been great but it's off the cusp conversations are off the cusp and um, for me I automatically when I when there's somebody because I'm not really authoritarian type of person I don't really care about being in charge and in the lead I'm not that fucking alpha male I can lead I've been a supervisor before a couple different times I can lead people um, 
if I know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I've even li I led people not knowing what the hell I was doing. Like, not really not know like <clears throat> training people like when they had me train a, a new hire how to do touch up on the on the painting products, and I never really did that. And I was like, don't don't know, fine. And I kind of just like was learning it as I went, as I was teaching her. <laughs> and she ended up being really good. She was a really good worker. And she was really cool. Um, but, if I don't, if I'm, if I'm lacking confidence in something, like if I don't remember something, like this why I don't like, I don't like debating, I don't want to debate people like real time. I rather just like tweet it or whatever, because I always get completely old, and then I, and then I get flustered, and then I, I get knocked off my game. Um, but what I've noticed, and I've, I like Tim Pool a lot, man. I do. Don't agree with everything he says, but like, it seems like a lot of successful people have this arrogance about them. And that is something that I lack severely. Um, and if you are a successful person, that is something that you, you have to understand. Like, there is a bit of arrogance um, in being successful and, and confident. And, and I'm thinking, like, dude, people, people can just be full of shit, not even know what the hell they're talking about. But if they have confidence or or they're showing arrogance almost like that can throw people off their game who actually know what the hell they're like I could be a damn scientist and I know every ins and outs about all this like medical stuff whatever we're talking about that's medical and this person knows a couple bullet points but since he delivers with such confidence even though I know he's wrong he can articulate it it's hard for me if, if I'm throwing off my game because I lack confidence with a lot of these scientists and engineers and all that shit they lack confidence and, and they're introverts and like I think they relate to, to me a lot um, so a lot of a lot of communication with humans is a, it's a lot of it's not just the words, it's how they're spoken. It's the body language behind it. And like I said, you could have somebody that has no idea what the hell is the topic even is, except for like a couple bullet points. Um, and if he's got that confidence, he can destroy that person. That's a damn expert. They spent their whole life and they will know ins and outs of everything of that topic. Um, and that's something that, you know, you know, arrogance is looked at as a bad thing. You know, it is kind of ugly. It's kind of like a, like a rude thing. You look down on people like you're better than people. Um, like you matter more. Um, it's like making your opinion matter more than it really, really, really does. Um, than it really should. Is, is, a lot of it is the confidence you bring. So, I, you know, I just, I was just thinking about that, like, because, you know, a lot of the stuff on this channel is experience and, and, Self, 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 actual, actualization. Um, talking about weird things, weird concepts, um, just whatever the hell I really want to talk about at the moment, in the minute, in the second. <laughs> Anyone who watches this knows that I go on to a lot of different things. Whatever the title shows, that could be just like that. That could be like like two seconds of what. Eh, the rest of the video is just a bunch of a lot of other stuff. Um, but yeah, and, but I think it's like a controlled arrogance. 
So like learning to control the arrogance, you know, like when you're in the spotlight, it's okay to be like, have the arrogance, even like a smugness about you. You can see it with athletes, you know, you see like how arrogant they can be. And that's actually like a plus in their line of field. And, 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 and um, that's a part of the reason why I like Trump, just like the, the like, the confidence that he he and the arrogance that he 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 presents, um, is you would rather vote for somebody like that than somebody that seems weak, tentative, um, very respectful, like gets walked all like you can see him get walked all over, um, kind of like a like a woman in a, in, a, in a high power meeting. Um, that's kind of like, she's, she's like a lower status. And then she says something, everyone just like starts cutting her ass off or just like a weak man, whatever. Like he, he's presenting himself, he's presenting himself in a weak manner and the people just don't respect that. Um, but like dealing, being able to turn that off is key. Like being in that type of high, high power situation when you're dealing with like high stakes and negotiations and this and that or you have to have a bit of an arrogance to you but then you come down to reality you don't want to bring that arrogance into your daily life like when you deal with regular common people um because then that's ugly so it's just kind of like you have to have you have to know what situation to present that arrogance in <clears throat> um, cause sometimes like, like when Tim Pool's talking and then like, he kind of like demeans, um, do with the long hair, Ian, he kind of demeans his opinion and, and almost like talks down to him and puts him down and you can see like the arrogance and it's like, I don't like that. But then you look at who's more who's more successful you see temple's far more successful than ian like he's running comp his company and is doing is doing well and he's doing well for himself he's po more popular you know like he's doing better than ian he is he is doing is doing pretty solid himself um but then you get like that's an ugly look and it's just like Okay. Being arrogant, you like I said, you have to pick and choose what situation is best to get the best results of that arrogance. Um, because then you look like an ugly person. Um, and I, you know, I, when I was saying like, oh, Trump he has an area so people kind of what I meant just like the situation how he handles different situations kind of like like a um attack from the media you know when you're being attacked um no nobody likes to see people who are punching down like people being bullied nobody likes that in society they don't like to see the little guy get picked on uh, that's why you see like underdogs and people a lot of people like to root for the underdog you know like that movie Rocky like that's the epitome of an underdog. And in that situation, you know, you can see getting knocked down, getting knocked down, getting up. This this goes wrong, this, that goes wrong. He still gets back up. And he's successful. Um, yeah, and, and that, I guess that would be like... Man, this is actually a pretty good uh, discussion. I'm sure there's other people way smarter than me that talk about this that can articulate things way better, go way more into depth than I can ever think about it. But then, you know, those people who can do that, it doesn't mean that people will listen to you. So like people like my channel, obviously I'm not the most charismatic person. People don't, people aren't gonna like listen to my opinions or, or the average person is not gonna pick up on what I'm talking about and, and, and 
because I, I don't that maybe I don't have enough personality I'm not the funniest you know um, <clears throat> or whatever um, and that's huge that's huge uh, when it comes to Influence, influencing people, confidence. Confidence is huge. There are times where it's a good idea to not show confidence because then you can manipulate the situation. Um, like the art of war, perceive yourself as weak when you're really strong, or perceive yourself as strong when you're really weak to your enemy. So if you're going to a new situation, you don't really feel it out. And you want to feel, you know, you feel it out. You don't want to go too strong into it. You don't know how people are going to react. So maybe it's like, okay, maybe I want to show that I don't have a lot of confidence. And see, in this new situation, I don't know these people. I want to see who the alpha is. So I'm going to go into this new situation. And, you know, a lot of people, you don't think about this stuff. It just it just kind of happens, or you just go through the emotions. But like, this is stuff I fucking think about. I want to see who's the leader in this new situation. I don't need to be leader. I don't care about being the leader. I don't get. I don't care about being perceived as high status in this situation. I'm talking about like starting a new job or whatever, where you don't want to come on like as threatening. You don't want to go full force. It's just kind of like. You want to see how things are going with the environment, you know, who's who, who's quiet, who's weak, who's the weak ones, who's the strong ones, who knows their shit, who doesn't, and you can see that. Um, that's that's why I like who what I am because me, I'm not alpha, I'm not beta. I mix, I flow in and out of all of them. And we all do. Obviously, I feel more comfortable in my masculine. But I don't feel like I need to control every situation. Um, I don't feel like I need to, 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 especially if I don't have any skin in the game, if it's my company, okay. Or like make, make it content. Hypothetically, if I just started getting tons of followers on Twitter and then people started going to my TikTok and I started blowing up and then my YouTube channel, whatever, my book, whatever. Hypothetically, if that was to happen, um, and then I started like making music with other people and making videos, but they're not as high status as me. I mean, I got 100,000 followers now. Maybe I got 100,000 subscribers on here. And they're just a person where, you know, I like to help them get some type of a following. I want to pick other people up too, which I don't see enough of. And that's why I kind of like Tim Cass IRL because it, it brings people in there we really don't know. Um, and it gives them a chance to be put in the spotlight where um, you're like, wow, they're actually, they're actually pretty good. I like them. I never even heard of them. And that's what there needs to be more of. Just kind of bringing people up that really is kind of obscure. And giving them a chance. But, like, obviously, like, what's being put out, like, if, if I had that type of uh, social media and I was a big fish. Obviously, like, do you think I'm just going to make regular videos where I'm just going to not edit them at all? No, I'm going to be editing my shit. Gonna be, it's going to be looking good because I'm going to have way more fucking viewers. At this point, it's like, dude, I don't even know why people even listen to me. If Like, I don't even know why I get any fucking views. And I, like I said, I appreciate I appreciate the little views I, I get. I appreciate because it's usually the same people that come and check out my stuff. And y'all comment. You guys are cool. <clears throat> but, um. Yeah, I don't even know why I get any fucking views at this point because I'm just a, I'm I'm a nobody. I'm just a regular person. Um, so I gotta cut this video off because I don't like people knowing where the fuck I live.